morning everyone and welcome to Vlogmas Day 12. Just have to film this guy doing amazing swimming. Look at him, he looks like a fish. Oh, don't stop. It's our last day in Dubai and we have just come to the beach and it's empty pretty much. Me and Lucy and Jim are the first ones here. What have I been up to this morning? It's now about half past 10. We've just had breakfast, which was lovely at the buffet. Oh, me and Jim had to rescue a child this morning. He was so sweet and I don't know where he was from, but he understood English, but didn't speak it. And I thought that was so clever because he was only three years old. And this other family went to go and get in the lift and the little boy ran ahead and just went down on his own. And then when the doors closed, he was like, ah, and um, and then his mum and dad just got a lift down to the lobby. Surely one of them would have waited on the floor, is what me and Jim said, and checked that he was safe. We called for our lift, waited like 30 seconds, then suddenly the little boy was up again on this floor, which was like on the ninth floor. And then he started running to go back to his room and we were just like, Do, would you like us to take you to find your mummy and daddy? And he just like nodded. So we took him down the lift with us and then luckily his parents were waiting in the lobby at the bottom. And so we were just like, oh look, there's mum, your mummy and daddy. And then they just like didn't even acknowledge us, which was kind of strange, but really glad that he found his mum and dad because I was a bit worried about him. What are you saying? Oh, it's my little guy on the Segway over there. So there's the beach and there's a really cute shop here. And they sell Javianas, Jim. I broke my Javianas when I got stuck in a um, flood in Thailand. And a cool outfit. <laughs> um, and some sun cream. We've come to buy extra sun cream. And um, sunglasses. And all sorts of stuff. Ooh, jewelry. And there's the volleyball. Jim, can we play volleyball after this? Don't really know what to vlog on the beach for you guys. I'm just going to vlog my feet walking along like this. Ah! I almost just headbutted this. Look, I've made a friend and she has feet too. It's Daisy's birthday. Yay! Jim's trying to catch the fish. Get one! Imagine if you actually got one. I'd if I get one, I'm officially a ninja. Officially! You managed to catch the ice cream, Jim. Yeah, you yeah, did. That's true. Next, the next logical step is fish, isn't it? If you can catch the ice cream, you can get the fish. Oh, Daisy's going into the fish. <laughs> Ruby's fully dressed in the sea. She doesn't care. Good, Good girl! Yay. You're better than Jim, aren't you? Yeah. Look, Jim, you can take some pointers. <laughs> Alfie just gave me a present. It's lovely, isn't it? Look. Oh, hold on. What if I press the wrong button? What is it, Alfie? Look, it's a little shell. And if I can do it right, which I can't. Here we go. It opens up. And luckily, there's nothing freaky inside. There you I go. Could, I could keep things in there, couldn't I? Yeah, and what could you keep in there? A bit of sweet corn? Maybe I'll fill it full of sand from Dubai. It'll be like a memory from being here. That's cute, isn't it? Oh, I dropped it. Tarn. Sorry! It looks like chocolate Sorry. soup. This is our pudding. Yum. I'm playing volleyball, guys. Go on, Tarn. Hit it back. Yeah! Yeah! Did you see that? Yeah. We know the rules. Oh. Yeah! <laughs> Oh again. yeah! And again! Almost! <laughs> <laughs> just walking back to the hotel, looking at all the cool colours, though they're not coming up on camera. We just had a great game of volleyball, now going for some basketball. Quite the sporty trip. It's the last outfit of the evening of Dubai, guys. And I've gone for a really boring one, sorry. I'm wearing my little um, oh, denim cute. jacket. Me too. Oh, these guys think it's cute. <laughs> Lucy's in here and Jim. Um, I'm wearing my little leather jacket. It's not leather, sorry. It's denim from Madewell with an H&M just tank top underneath and the leather skirt which you saw before and the sandals that I've worn every single day, my Madewell sandals. I've used this which I just packed in my, um, sorry, packed in my bag because I've had it for ages and never used it and I thought if I bring it away with me, I'll definitely use it. And it's a shadow stick from NARS called Dark Right. I don't know if you can see that because the light is horrible in here but it's a dark navy and I've put that on my lids all over and then I used some gel liner and I also used, just opening this, I used MAC Sketch eyeshadow over the top then I used a little bit of cranberry through my crease and it's kind of given this really cute like little dark night sunsetty effect I think and I really like it. And the hotel made me a crocodile on the floor and put my boot in the crocodile's mouth. How random, but funny. 
Yeah. Jim's shining a light so that you guys can see my makeup a bit better. But look at the eyeshadow. This is NARS Dark White Shadow Stick with Mac Sketch over the top and then a little bit of cranberry through my crease. Marcus looks so intrigued about me talking about my makeup. Yeah, I, went, I went for a, um, a simple, plain toned look with yeah. my cheekbones. At the bottom. His Dom's family, they've all arrived today. We're really excited we're going for birthday dinner because it's Daisy's birthday, yay! So glad you made it. Time will never change it. No, no, no. Who remembers that classic? Yeah. Obviously all of us. Yeah. This is such a typical girly sleepover, isn't it, guys? Fever forever, forever. Oh. I'll be waiting Everlasting Like the sun For the moment Ever searching For the one Does anyone remember what how rude two become one was? was? <laughs> 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 Jamaican then <laughs> when they make love to your baby. baby. You can buy the album next year. Yeah. yeah. Us four. We're gonna call the album Girls Gone I Wild. Get sued. <laughs> <laughs> Copyright in this. Girls Gone Wild. Okay, so that is the end of my Dubai trip, guys. Um, I will be vlogging tomorrow, which will be part of this video too. Hope you've enjoyed it and back to Christmassy England now. Bye. It's Vlogmas Day 13 now and I'm in the Dubai airport going home and our flight's delayed. Um, here's the airport. Oh, I need to get through here. Marcus just laughs at me when I vlog. Don't you, Marcus? I love, I love you. I love when you vlog, can't you? It makes me smile. You love what vlog? When you vlog. When I vlog. It makes me happy. Aw, that's nice, isn't it? Um, so we're all starving hungry and we're going to go and find some food in the airport. Jim just did a selfie through the glass because in airports people aren't allowed through into the gate and you aren't flying. Jim, that was really sweet. Thanks. And we've got all got McDonald's. What you do when you're in the airport. I don't mind mine. Ruth and Jim are like, no time to vlog. They just, they just want the McDonald's. I am so hungry, it's not even funny. It's mine and my husband, so I'm on the aeroplane. I've been flying for about four hours. It's almost time to land, look. There is the wing of the plane. It is looking very grey and cold in England. But I'm looking forward to going home. I have edited three videos on the flight and slept a little bit as well. Um, I can't wait to get home. Oh, it's making scary noises. Ah, I think we're going to land. There's the world out there. Oh my goodness, I've totally forgot how grey England is compared to Dubai. It's a little bit of turbulence with this landing, I must say. Cabin crew, kindly of take your seats for arrival. You can see the London Eye. How cool is that? We're home! And the most exciting thing I can show you guys is the Christmas tree. I've got really sore mouth ulcers, so I'm not going to film me because I just put loads of bongella on and now I'm all dribbly and gross. Um, but I got home and look how much advent calendar I have to catch up on. How exciting. And also, I've got a Christmas card. My first Christmas card's come in the post. I don't really get many Christmas cards these days. And because um, none of my friends really do them, I don't think. But Flirt and Mike sent me the most beautiful Christmas card. It's like a... Sorry, I'm all dribbly. Um, it's like a little pop-up one. I don't know if you can see that. But I think it's absolutely beautiful and anything sparkly is right up my street. So thank you very much, Flora and Mike. I love it very much. Okay, I will see you guys tomorrow. Bye!